Happy Valentine, my loves. I'm just bringing you this uh, makeup tutorial using Huda Beauty Texture Eyeshadow Palette, the Rose Gold Edition. And I'm going to just begin with priming my eyelid using Urban Decay uh, Potion Primer. And for my transition shade, I'm using Hannah from the palette. And I'm just using a tapered blending brush from Morphe Rose Gold Edition and I'm just blending in that shade. I went ahead and added a uh, flamingo from the palette. It is a beautiful light uh, pinky shade and I place it a little bit above my crease because I wanted to have some um, gradient effect of that pink shade in there. Now the shade that I'm blending right now is Bossy. It's kind of like a deep burgundy shade. Very beautiful. But for some reason my camera did shut off. I did not realize that it did shut off. And so um, part of my um, shadows that I put down did get skipped in that line. But the shade that I actually use on my lid is Angelic. And it is from the same Hoda Beauty Texture Shadow Palette. After I used Angelic, I went in with Coco in the Auto V of my eye and I darkened that. And then I went back in with Flamingo above the crease area and blended those together with my MAC 224 brush. Now taking a brush from Morphe, I'm sorry, from Real Techniques, and I used the shade Moon Dust to highlight my inner tear dot and basically that's all I'm doing right now and like I said I sincerely apologize I did not know that my camera had cut off usually this uh, camera that I have does cut off after 30 minutes and I always try to um, monitor that I believe it overheats and shuts off and so when it does that I usually cut it off for like one minute and put it back on and I'm fine and so I really do apologize now what I did was to take my cosmetics black track and put it on my lid and after doing that I grabbed my Kat Von D tattoo eyeliner and that's what I'm using right now to line my eye and I went ahead and added my false lashes of camera but I went and used uh, Maybelline Great Lash Mascara, I believe it is, to uh, prep my lashes for the false eyelashes. I have used this palette several times uh, in a couple of tutorials on my channel, and I did give a detailed uh, review of this palette uh, during the tutorial um, but however uh, I just make a comment today to say that I really love the palette um, I love that pink shade that I use it's kind of like a, a rose gold pink and it is extremely beautiful and I like that I love the uh, consistency um, I sprayed my brush before digging it into the palette because I know that if the shades don't easily come out using your um, brush and so you have to use them with your fingertip to apply it but I did uh, you know use the brush wet today and it did work and so moving on I prime my face with Becca Ever Matte Polish Primer and the foundation that I'm using today is Maybelline Fit Me Poles Matte Foundation. I really love it. The shade that I'm wearing is 338. You know, this foundation I would say is just one of my favorites. I really do love it. And I'm running out. I need to restock on it because hey, like I said, I'm in love with the foundation. And so um, especially for it being a uh, foundation from the drugstore 
with the high quality of full coverage and what have you I just love it now I'm taking my beauty blender after using a Sigma Kubiki brush to blend that foundation I always like to go over it with a beauty blender to make sure that um, everything is blended out seamlessly so I really think using the beauty blender after you apply your foundation or whatever with the uh, brush I think going over it with a beauty blender is uh, it's a good option or good trick to use because it really does help with that flawless application um, and yeah so do you guys have any plans for Valentine tonight well if you do please leave a comment down below I just want to know what or how you spending your Valentine for me I'm spending at home with my babies and my sweetheart <laughs> and uh, let's move on here I am doing my highlight using um, Revlon concealer and it smells really stink guys I smell it really smells stinks do you know how it smells it smells like if you you know like the uh, like the glue the eyelashes glue that you have if it stays for a long time it smells very, it smells very nasty and it, it the um this concealer is almost giving me that kind of scent so I wasn't too sure about it but if it did smell more than what it smelled I would not use it or I wouldn't have put it on my skin anyway I am blending my honor eye using my Sephora 56 brush which I have seen Nitro B use several times and it worked very it works very very well I see why she's uh, hooked on it this is a very nice brush to uh, blend out your concealer and so anyway I'm just blending out the concealer um, in a patting motion and uh, sweeping it as well now I'm going back with my Sigma Kabuki brush and I'm blending everything together to make sure that there is no um, hash lines left out and then I went ahead and used my beauty blender again now I'm using a real technique sponge let me correct myself it's not a beauty blender it's real technique sponge I'm using the, the new one that they, they, had, they brought out um, for the concealer there are four or six in a pack I, um, I had it uh, review on my channel the last tutorial that I had yeah and that's what I'm using but it is a very nice one as well so I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit to uh, scope under my cheekbone and I'm scoping under that with a flat brush from shiny cosmetics after doing that again I grab my Sigma Kabiki brush I think it's F30 and I am just blending over whatever steps that I took now I'm taking my NYX contour kit and I picked up a bronzer from L'Oreal True Match and I just mixed those two uh, bronze my cheekbone. But when I went in with that uh, bronzer from um, the bronzer from L'Oreal it gave me kind of like a white leftover that I didn't like so I used that Maybelline Fit Me powder uh, in shade 330 now I also forgot to highlight on my eye and so if you saw me put my finger up I was like wait a minute I have to contour or set my own eye and so that's exactly what I did I'm using my cosmetics night muff lip pencil and I'm going to put that all over my lips and I'm going to use a matte lipstick from Colourpop Cosmetics called LAX I'm also going to use a matte lipstick from Chirac Cosmetics called Ruby Slipper and so if you are using these matte lipsticks you want to make sure that you moisturize your lips before placing them on or else your lips will dry out and it will not look good after hours 
and so guys this is the finished look i hope you love how it turned out i did enjoy this tutorial and i will look forward to and i look forward to talking to you guys soon